my handsome and sexy dirty bastards welcome to my channel so today we are going to talk about the top 10 best releases of 2021 and i'm gonna rank them from 10 it's a good release to one this is a very sexy release and you need to get it but before we continue, I want to thank today's video sponsor, which is Karma. Karma is an app and Chrome extension, which makes sure you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. Check the link down below. Because of Karma, I bought La Nuit de Lom Blue Electric with a 25% discount. They had sent me a notification and I immediately bought a second bottle. Check the link down below if you also like discounted fragrances. So... All you have to do is go to thekarmanow.com and download the desktop Chrome extension. From there, you just go to your favorite shop and save items you're looking for. When any of the saved items goes on sale or a new coupon comes on, you get an email. You can also save items in categories, organize them in different lists to avoid impulse buys. Once you're at the checkout, Karma will automatically check for any discount codes because we gotta save that money. But it's only available on the computer, so be sure to have the desktop Chrome extension. When you shop from select retail partners, Karma gives cash back to you and to a good cause. Click down the link below to download Karma for free, I repeat, for free, on your computer and phone to save as much money as possible. Let's get on with the video. All right, gentlemen, grab yourselves a cup of coffee, put your balls in a good position, and let's get into it. All right, and at number 10, we are going to talk about Joop Eau de Parfum. This is mainly vanilla with woods and some warm spiciness with a heavy dose of sweet bubblegum sweetness. I really love this fragrance for like 50% because there is a fragrance in here that I loved back in the day. Um, the fragrance that's in here is Jean-Paul Cotier number no. 2. But that one is unfortunately discontinued. But that was a very sexy amber fragrance. I stole that one a lot from my dad. Already then I wore men's fragrances. This mixed with the normal Joop or Joop. I don't know how you guys say it. Wij zeggen Joop. But Jean-Paul Cotier number no. 2 with Joop, the pink one. Mix that together. That's this fragrance. This is a very youthful fragrance because it has that bubblegum sweetness. And this is definitely for the colder days because it's that strong. Definitely for fall and winter. That's what you're going to get. This is easily 10 plus hours with a very big projection. You can't... Woo! overspray this one but the only reason unfortunately why i don't like this fragrance is because this gives me a massive headache so you have to try before you buy with this one so be careful with the sprays of this one or else you will explode some heads if you aren't careful with the trigger oh what the fuck's happening oh, oh man shit. Oh man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck did you do that? Well, I didn't mean to do it, it was an accident. All right, then at number nine, we got Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Forever. Yes, I really love this fragrance. This is fruity, citrus, fresh, and it's just really airy and musky in the dry down. While having the citrus throughout the whole wearing of the fragrance. Ooh. Mainly this is a sexy grapefruit fragrance. That's basically what it is. But a lot of people in the comment section don't like this fragrance because it reminds them of sweat. And I've done some research about it. And indeed people compare female sweat to the note of grapefruit. Well, I wish I, I sweated like that, but... So if you want to smell like female sweat, then wear this one so you can be in touch with your feminine side. My wife told me to be more in touch with my feminine side. So I crashed the car. <laughs> <laughs> and then ignored her all day for no reason. <laughs> To me, it's just a really realistic grapefruit note. It's mouth-watering to me and with a clean white mask. And the longevity with this one is a good six to eight hours with a moderate projection. And honestly, to me, this is really a good release. But try this fragrance out because there are still some women out there who really love grapefruit. <laughs> All right, and at number eight, we got a very sexy citrus fragrance. This is one 
of the best citrus fragrances out there because it lasts. It is from La Manufacture Noble. This one. It's a niche fragrance, just so you know. Ah, now this is a very sexy citrus, just as you expect citrus. But then there is some sexy cardamom in here and clean white musk. So there are only three notes listed in this fragrance, which is mandarin, cardamom and musk and honestly those three notes together is fantastic now when you should wear this fragrance is after a shower oh sexy fresh and then you put this one on and then you're even more fresh like in the morning on a sunny day that's when this is perfect oh hell yeah and i've been wearing this one a lot actually and if you're like oh curly citrus fragrances don't last well bitch how many sprays do you do then because i spray like this one two, pop, pop, pop. look at the spray pop, pop. Opa. on the abs and in my hair i smell so good Longevity of this one is easy 8 to 10 hours if you spray like that with a moderate projection This one doesn't come off your skin, but you leave a very nice and sexy sillage and at number seven We got Yves Saint Laurent Y Le Parfum and this is my favorite from the whole Y line because the parfum one is a little bit sharp to my nose But this one is more refined. This one is also sexier in my opinion and also to a lot of women's noses opinion because I've asked what they thought of this fragrance which one they like more the parfum or this one everybody said this one this is a fresh fragrance with some sweet edges on it but it's mainly fresh and the main notes that you smell are apple grapefruit lavender cedar and aldehydes and aldehydes is that note that gives you that fresh laundry ish kind of a smell to me this smells like a more grown-up version of eros this is for when you go to your work or when you're wearing a clean white t-shirt just for daytime just when you go to your job or something like that then this is really good it's not a sexy fragrance it's just this fragrance is really good and longevity is a good eight to ten hours try it out and at number six we got goldfield and banks silky woods yes i keep talking about this one i love it now this is a woody warm spicy powdery vanilla fragrance the main notes that you're going to smell with this fragrance is cinnamon, suede, agarwood, vanilla, sandalwood, and tobacco. Now, always when I smell this fragrance, it reminds me a lot of uh, Mercedes-Benz Club Black. The black one, I think I talk a lot about that fragrance. But then more niche, there's leather in this one. It is a little bit smoky. It has a very sexy note of tobacco in there. It just, yeah, it is more refined. So if you like that fragrance, you should definitely check out Silky Woods. Now this just has a very addictive smell. You want to smell it over and over and over. And if you wear this, your chick who is with you want to smell it over and over again. So she will come closer to you. And that's what we want, right? This is a long Long lasting fragrance but it doesn't really project it doesn't come so far off your skin it lasts easy 10 plus hours but yeah, it's more like for these date kind of occasions when people are close to you but you don't always have a date or you're trying to get a date so um spray this one as i did with the noble one all over your body pop, 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 pop all over and then it's gonna project okay then it will go to the noses of the ladies try this fragrance out and at number five we got armani stronger review absolutely yes this is the only one that i got from the stronger review line and i love this one the most this one smells like a better version of by the fireplace and again i keep bashing by the fireplace but that is because that one is really not that good or not that good it stinks <laughs> you straight up stink it just smells like you've been lit on fire by the fireplace yeah, you smell exactly like that. So I would say that this is a better version of that one. You still kind of get the same vibe. The main notes that you're going to get with this fragrance is rum, lavender, chestnut, vanilla, cedar, and patchouli. This one is the more rich and the more grown-up version of the whole Stronger With You line. This is it's more mature. This is the best. Mm, just boozy, woody, and sweet. Perfect combination. If a girl smells this off of you, she will remember this one. Will your mouth still remember the taste of these nuts? <laughs> 
and the smell of the nuts, I mean, uh, <laughs> nuttiness, she will also remember that. And at number four, we got Azaro, the most wanted. Ooh, hell yeah. Now, this one smells a lot. These two smell a lot alike. Actually, I must say that. If you have one of the other, you don't need one or the other. So the main difference is of this one is this one has a rum note and more nuttiness. And this one has the sexy cardamom and is more strong. This one pushes more off of your skin. Other than that, they smell basically the same. I had them on side by side. Both are really good, but it's just which one do you prefer more? And I prefer this one a tiny bit more because it projects more. And I like my fragrances to project because I want to be smelled by a lot of people. I want the compliments. Now this one is warm, spicy, sweet, woody and very masculine. Although it's very sweet, it has that masculine touch. Now I think the reason why this one pushes more off of your skin is because the note of uh, amber wood is in this one. And amber wood is a kind of a molecule that pushes off of your skin. All molecules make the fragrances push off of your skin. And Broxen, ISO E Super, Amberwood, dive into those fragrance notes, my man. They make every fragrance better. Now, this is that kind of fragrance that you use for these romantic kind of a settings. And trust me, if you are a little bit romantic with the ladies, the clothes will be off in no time. Longevity of this one is easy, 8 to 10 hours with a very good projection the first 3 hours. This one pushes off of your skin. So if you want attention, get this one. And at number 3, we got Dior Sauvage Elixir. Yes, this is a very good release. Now this fragrance is old school versus new school. It is really like mixed together. Like a fragrance of the 80s or the 90s mixed with the fragrance of today. Now this is a warm, spicy woody but also fresh spicy kind of a fragrance the opening oh the opening sucks the opening is very hard then you will be like ew what the fuck this is disgusting i had that you need to give this fragrance a little bit of time or a little bit you need to give this fragrance like in half an hour let this one settle down and then let the fragrance come to you and then you get these nice whiffs of it the main notes that you're going to get with this fragrance is cinnamon nutmeg lavender licorice sandalwood and amber now in the dry down you're still gonna get this citrus aquaticness with warm spicy uh, backbone and this fragrance is really for the masculine manly man but i must say it has some sexy edges on it when my friend wore this and the fragrance came to me the whole time ooh. He was a little bit sexy, luckily. Luckily he's gay. <laughs> Longevity and projection are really out of this world. This is really strong. And uh, this is a 60 milliliter. But honestly, it is worth your money because it is that strong and long lasting. You only need a couple of sprays from this one, max five. You don't get that uh, these days with all these fragrances. So yeah, try it out. See if you like it. This is not blind by worthy. Try it out first. And at number two, we got Paco Rubin Invictus Victory. Yes, I really love this fragrance. And why? Because it is a mix of Armani Code Profumo mixed with uh, Roja's Enigma. Mix those two together, then you get Invictus Victory. This one is very sweet and powdery. And you guys know that I love some powder. With some chocolatey, peppery freshness. It's really good. The main notes that you smell are pink pepper, lemon, vanilla, tonka bean and lavender. This fragrance has nothing to do with all the other Invictus lines. Those ones are fresh and aquatic and gives me a headache. And this one is sweet, peppery and just sexy. This is really good. This is a fragrance that a lot of girls are going to love. This is just a really sexy mix and I am very happy that I got a 200 milliliter of this one this fragrance is a very long lasting with a moderate projection but uh trust me this one is going to give you a lot of compliments perfect for fall and winter and nighttime when shit is about to go down so try this fragrance out and at number one the sexiest release of 2021 we got love <laughs> 
Exactly, Miss Fresh. We got Yves Saint Laurent, La Nuit de Lom, Blue Electric. Do you know what will happen if you wear this one? You don't know yet? With this one, you gonna... Fuck it right in the pussy! Exactly! Look how much I have used this fragrance. And you know what? I got a second bottle as well! Hell yeah! So this one basically smells like the normal La Nuit Lomme, but they have made it a tiny bit more modern. It's a tiny bit more fresh and a little bit more powdery. And you know, your girl loves some powder in fragrances. Not, uh, not somewhere else. The main notes that you're gonna get with this fragrance is cardamom, lavender and cedar. It has everything that a fragrance needs to have. It has some freshness. It also has a tiny bit of the sexy spiciness combined together. This is just a fragrance that a lot of chicks, when they smell it, they like it right away. It is sexy. This, this is a sexy fragrance. When are you gonna get it, my man? A lot of people are like still in the comments, still this one gets every time in my list number one, number one, number one. And I see you guys see how much I wear this. And then still I get some comments like, is it blind by worthy? Is blue electric good? Well, what the fuck do you think? I have two bottles of it. Yes, it is good. Don't ask in the comments. I say on here how good it is. Jesus. What do you want? Do you want me to write you? Yes, it is really good. Trust me. Try it out, bitch. And don't come at me, just try it out yourself. Longevity of that one is an easy 8 to 10 hours. Spray it on your clothing, it will stay there for days. All right, my sexy gentlemen, this was the fragrance list of today. These were the best releases of 2021. Now don't forget to check out Karma because they will hit you up when these fragrances are on a discount. Because they have released this year and the prices are... It's still up there, but wait for it. Karma will notify you when the price dropped or when they have a coupon code for it. Just wait for it and try out Karma. Don't forget to check them out. All right, my sexy gentlemen. Hope you have enjoyed this list and see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.